what's up guys it's me tato back again with the recipes that make you wanna cook on today's video we are making this beautiful and delicious pork stew stay tuned <laughs> get started guys and as usual i will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below so you're gonna get started with seasoning your pork i have my pork that i just cubed up here you can also buy the porky so they're already cut um pork i'm just gonna season it with some salt and pepper please be generous because this is the only time you're gonna add salt or pepper into this dish Now I'm go also going to go in with a teaspoon or two of some paprika. Now this is just for color. You really don't need a lot of it. And just stir it around and make sure every little piece of that pork is coated. Now in a pot with some hot oil, you're going to go ahead and brown your meat. You want to add your pork bit by bit because if you don't want to add it all at once because what might happen is that your meat will start to stew instead of fry. So you want to give it room to breathe and fry beautifully to golden brown. If you add it all at once, it might stew and release a lot of moisture and you're going to have a lot of water instead of a uh, beautiful golden brown color. So, fry your meat in two batches. I fried mine in two batches, and the color is beautiful. Now, this is the color that you want to go for that beautiful, beautiful golden brown color. It's also gonna help with deepening that um, deep, dark color that we're looking for, for at the end result of our shoe so once your meat is brown you just want to remove it and set it aside don't discard anything in the pot don't wash it we're gonna use all those beautiful brown bits i'm gonna add one onion that i just diced up and saute that for about two to three minutes just until it goes slightly brown And I'm gonna go in with two teaspoons of crushed garlic and ginger now I'm gonna be truthful I did add a little bit more than two teaspoons because I feel like ginger just goes well with pork and it's gonna be that flavor that really pops and give it that you know umami <laughs> flavor now you want to saute that for just about 20 seconds and you're gonna go ahead and add your tomato sauce um you can just eyeball it i'm gonna be honest guys i didn't measure anything here i just went for it so you can just go for it. you don't need a lot just for flavor now recently i just prefer cooking with tomato sauce than tomato paste i feel like it's the flavor guys it's just so beautiful so if you don't have tomato sauce you can also use um tomato paste i'm gonna add just a little bit of water just to cook off the tomato and also help deglaze our pot yeah so just a little bit of tom of water and you're gonna saute that for another 30 seconds to a minute and we're gonna proceed with adding our yellow red and green bell pepper just want to stir those in and i love this dish because it doesn't take a long time as you know pork doesn't take a long time to cook and this dish just you know everything is immediately after you just mix in the peppers then place your meat back into the pot now everything just goes quick from here 
honestly i love it because it's a, like in and out 30 minutes in the kitchen and you are done For a little bit of spice i went ahead and added my mild diced pepper jew um, you can go for the spicy but i really didn't want any prominent chili flavor in this dish i just wanted it to be you know nice sticky and flavorful not chili at all just beautiful mellow flavors we're gonna stir that in there i added about two teaspoons of that you can add a tablespoon or more depending on your flavor profile you can also add some crushed chili you can add fresh chili if you want that chili to pop with the ginger it's gonna be beautiful i'm gonna go in with my traditional brine mix for about now you know that i have fallen in love with the spice and when i fall in love with the spice honey trust me i'm going to abuse it <laughs> so you don't need a lot i'm also gonna go in with some italian herbs and honestly guys that's about it those are the spices you need not a lot and i'm also gonna add some soy sauce and some sticky rib sauce that's going to help with the color the stickiness the little bit of sweetness from the sticky sauce it's gonna be amazing and i'm gonna add a little bit of water to simmer it down for 20 minutes and it's done pork doesn't need to cook for a very long time so i just simmered it down for 20 minutes and it was done i didn't add any other vegetables guys go in with your soy sauce go in with your rib sauce you can also substitute that for barbecue sauce or some chili sauce if you want it spicy just go for it you know play with your flavors play with your palate but for me the flavor that really hit me is the ginger oh babe oh babe <laughs> pork and ginger are best friends according to me guys they're the best i use the lapis bry sauce you can use any other sauce that you like you could go for sweet chili barbecue um a hot sauce that you like perhaps and yeah i like the sticky ribs because it is exactly that it's gonna give it a sticky texture to it and that is all you need for this beautiful, beautiful box stew. Now, if you're still watching at this time, guys, thank you so much. Please do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are a day one. You are a real one. And I hope you do like the recipes and I hope you, you do try them. Please hit the like button. Comment down below. Show me some love. And I will show you back some love add just a little bit of water but i have a cup of water not to drown the pork just for you can have a little bit of sauce if you don't want a lot of sauce then you can just reduce your heat to about a four on your temperature and just simmer it down until it's cooked and it's ready to go now here's after 20 minutes it's all done the sauce is beautiful it's thick enough you don't have to add any thickener slurry or anything everything is beautiful the sauce is to my likings not too much not too little as well but if you want a little bit more sauce you can go ahead and add your slurry and it's done i'm gonna finish it off with some chopped fresh coriander not a lot because i thought that coriander can be too overwhelming if you add too much of it so just uh but Half your palm or just a tablespoon or two should be enough. At this point, you just want to switch off your stove. And please, if you want that sauce, don't leave your pot on that hot plate. Or else you're going to... There's no sauce, basically. <laughs> so you just want to switch off your stove and put your pot aside. It's going to finish it off with that residue heat from the pot. And you are ready to serve. I did serve this with some rice, some mashed potato, honey, honey. It is so good, so delicious. I hope you do try this recipe, guys. Comment down below if you did like it and if you're going to try it. Let me know. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.